The culture of British SUVs has always been about combining off-road capabilities with unrivaled interior comforts. Today their numbers have grown to include sports performance models and beyond luxurious makes that dwarf executive limousines in terms of levels of posh. In this video, we will explore all the freshest 2021 UK sport utility vehicles by overviewing technical specifications, pricing and examining the new design choices. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News if you do not want to be left unnotified about the next informative review. Ring the bell and let's start the engines! Bentley Bentayga Back in 2015, the Bentayga opened up a whole new segment of ultra-luxury SUVs, finally giving billionaires a chance to abandon unpopular sedans. Today, with the competitors on its heels, Bentley is raising the bar even higher with the new generation of the model. The latest design DNA is infused on both ends, so the front and rear fascias now take a more muscular and elegant stance. Plus, the new design 22-inch wheels are introduced. The crew team initially releases the usual 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 version of the SUV, but promises to follow up with a hybrid and a performance-oriented speed modification shortly. Take a look inside to find all new seats and trims, among which is the dark tint diamond brush aluminum trim. There is more legroom and the next-generation infotainment. The 10.9-inch system expands the suite of My Bentley connected apps and, believe it or not, features standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Land Rover Defender Commercial Even though the new Defender was built with off-roading in mind, now the brand is expanding its capability beyond adventure driving. The 4x4 SUV gains two hardtop commercial versions, the 3-door 90 and the 5-door 110, that will offer high levels of passenger comfort paired with more utility and cargo room. Built on the same electric vehicle architecture as the passenger SUVs, the models are expected to arrive with the IC engines at first, but later mild hybrid and plug-in drivetrains should be added to the mix. The SUVs get a new fixed metal roof and, depending on the modification, are rated for up to 7,700 pounds of towing capacity. Additionally, they come equipped with the latest safety tech, advanced tow assist and clear sight rear view mirror system. Aeneas Grenadier Aeneas is a well-known multinational chemical company headquartered in London that in 2017 branched out into the automotive business. The company's goal was to build a spiritual successor of the original Land Rover Defender, and after three and a half years of development, they have revealed the project in its final form. Named the Grenadier, this rugged and boxy SUV is built on a box section ladder frame with heavy-duty Corrado beam axles and ECF-developed suspension. Much of the work is being done by Magnus Terre, same company that is responsible for the Mercedes G-Wagon. Plus, in total, 160 suppliers are involved in the project. Starting from 2021, the SUV will be assembled at the company's new factory in South Wales, using the BMW source diesel and gas engines. Aston Martin DBX For 107 years, Aston Martin was all about luxurious sports cars and occasional saloons. But modern consumer preferences inevitably dictated the release of an SUV. One could easily say that the DBX is an enlarged and more rugged variant of the DB11 Grand Tour, because it carefully copies the grille design, air vents placement and rear ducktail spoiler. The model is powered by Mercedes-AMG M177 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 engine that is controlled via 9-speed automatic. This SUV transfers 550 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque to the road surface via an active all-wheel drive system, enhanced with the active central differential and an electric rear limited slip differential. The 4,940 pounds DBX 
zooms to 60 and 4.3 seconds and tops out at 181 miles per hour. It is the first Aston Martin to feature an all-round air suspension with the 95mm ride height adjustment. Land Rover Discovery Sport The second-generation Discovery Sport arrived to the market as a 2020 model, underpinned by the new PTA platform that we have already seen in the Range Rover Evoque. As a result, the crossover gets the same engine selection, represented by a 2-liter turbo gasoline with or without a mild hybrid system, a 2-liter diesel, and a newly added PHV setup with 309 horses and 38 miles of EV range. From the outside, the updated Discovery Sport looks more refined, featuring a revised grille and LED lighting. Its cabin in turn gets a new sustainable upholstery option, a 10-inch Touch Pro infotainment, and a virtual rear-view mirror. The model accommodates from 5 to 7 passengers, with the second row of seats getting the 40-20-40 folding setup. It is time to like this video if you are enjoying our content and start evaluating which model in this lineup is your top pick. Leave a comment with your choice down below. Let's proceed! Mini Countryman in the upcoming model here, the largest representative of the Mini Cooper brand expands on the versatility and functionality, not without a new emphasis on the powerful charisma. The updated Countryman tries on a new bumper structure, redesigned radiator grille, standard LED headlamps, and Union Jack rear lights across the entire trim selection. There are new body finishes, optional piano black exterior, and a selection of alloys. The engine bay now includes 7 mils that match the latest Euro 60 emission standards, and among those there is a plug-in hybrid modification with increased all-electric range of 38 miles. On the inside, the 2021 Countryman introduces standard sports leather steering wheel, renewed selection of leather trims, and a digital cockpit display with 5-inch color screen. Rolls-Royce Cullinan Black Badge The Rolls-Royce sales charts indicate a true explosion in demand since 2019, which could be easily attributed to the Hulkin Cullinan SUV, which is gradually becoming the buyer's favorite. To keep the momentum going, the giant is getting an all-new Black Badge configuration in 2020. It could be distinguished on the outside by the darkened grille, trim pieces, Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament, and of course unit-specific 22-inch wheels with painted brake calipers. Under the hood mill is the familiar 6.7-liter V12 with an all-wheel drive capability, but this time it was boosted to the even 600 horsepower and 664 pound-feet. The Scalinen combines high-class craftsmanship of the interior with high-performance materials, like carbon tech fiber. The Starline headliner is here, but with a new shooting star feature, that lets you observe a star shower at the push of a button. Range Rover Evoque For two years now, Land Rover's smallest but at the same time second best-selling offering has been setting on the new premium transverse architecture that was designed from the ground up to accommodate a variety of powertrains, including the plug-in hybrid kind. This year, the company is finally ready to utilize this advantage with the release of the new Evoque PHEV model. The electric rear axle drive boosts the small 1.5-liter engine EM three-cylinder to confident 309 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. The setup returns generous 202 mpg 
and the combined cycle and supports up to 41 miles of range without engaging the engine. The P300E is available in S, SE and HSC specifications, both standard and R-Dynamic. This crossover rides on 18 through 20 inch wheels. The interior is highly advanced with the Land Rover and Control Touch Pro Duo infotainment, a 12.3 inch interactive driver display, head up display, and Meridian audio. Jaguar I Pace Since its introduction, the I Pace has already won more than 80 global awards for the design and tech. But Jaguar is not stopping there, making the SUV even more functional and technologically advanced. First, there is a new 3 phase 11 kW wall box for the home charging that allows the car to regain 33 miles of the WLTP range in an hour and brings the full charging time down to 8.5 hours. Design wise, the I Pace is enhanced by the new Atlas Grey Grill finish, Bright Pack, plus additional wheels and color options. It also gains a new cabin air ionization system and a PIVI Pro infotainment with 10 and 5 inch screens. There is improved connectivity and wireless phone charging. Would you agree that British SUVs are barely rifled in terms of the levels of luxury they offer? How do you like the newcomers from this video? Share with us in the comment section. Like this episode and proceed to exploring new car lineups by clicking on the icons on the screen. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you later.